What's good guys? We're gonna go straight into the video. I told you guys in the last video I made of Pendulum vs. Meta. There will be a part two. So here we go, part two. Pendulum vs. Orcus, Pendulum vs. Thunder. Or sorry, Pendulum vs. Orcus, Pendulum vs. Striker, Pendulum vs. Grand Maju, and Pendulum vs. Versus Subterror. So all meta decks, generally meta decks. So let's get straight into it. We've got lots of matches for you guys. Four matches. So let's go fast. Pay close attention and hit the subscribe button if you guys like the video. Let's go. So here we got Orcus first. He's gonna. Uh, I wasn't too fond of this guy's plays. He goes. Uh, he had a call by the grave and an imperm, but he did discard the phantasm. He didn't misplay by doing that, but. He discarding the Phantasmia is a little iffy until I saw his hand. He had Call by the Grave and an Imperm. So we're going to be doing Call by the Grave, Imperm, and Babel. So uh, that's four interruptions plus, yeah, it's total, like, plus the Langirsu. So we're going to add Topologic. So look at this. We got Topologic. We got the Langirsu coming for an interruption eventually. The two interruptions. Topologic is like a big interruption. We got Imperm, Call by the Grave. Like, we got a lot. Like, Babel, we have lots of interruptions coming. So we got five interruptions we're gonna deal with and top logic multiple times and we ended up hard dead drawing the mare mare and dead drawing the mastery. I don't know why in 60 cards this card is glued to my hand, but it doesn't matter. It's still sick. It's absolutely amazing. It's a win con. So I'm gonna show you guys now just how to break this board. A lot of you have trouble breaking an orca's board, but <laughs> it's I don't know how you guys have trouble doing that. It doesn't matter how many interruptions it put up puts up. This is going to destroy him. As you can see, this is why you must play this blue boy, man. It's not even debatable. It's just cards that he must negate. And it's not debatable. Like, he must negate it. Must It's like negate or lose. It's negate or lose. So I'm trying to get him to bait this, uh, to pop the servant. Because I, I don't need the servant at all. Uh, it's a nice way to, to get rid of it. But uh, he ends up letting it go. Which I believe was a mistake on his end. But uh, then I realized he had an impermanence. So I'm going to have Servant and Jackal triggering the top logic, and there's going to be counters on Jackal before top logic even resolves. So Servant takes care of top logic by itself. But then when you have an impermanence, it stops it. Uh, it stops me. So I end up, uh, the top logic will be forced to trigger. Jackal is going to negate it, and then he imperms the Jackal. And there we go. Field gets destroyed, but Servant will then go and put itself, Servant will put itself in the uh, scale because... It got destroyed on the monster zone. Next, I put more cards he must negate. I go blue boy, and he's going to have to eventually pop. He's going to have to pop this. He's going to have to pop it because I'm going to draw. So instantly, he's like, yo, think, hold on, pop. So he's going to pop that. Now, I got to deal with Longirsu on top, and it's not affected by card effects. So he still has Nightmare Horror, and Horror bring out another Orca. So he's going to have a Topologic pop, a Longirsu pop, and a Call by the Grave still. So I still got to deal with three interruptions. But we did well. We got rid of the Servant Turbo, got rid of Top Logic. Blue Boy got rid of another uh, Impermanence. Sorry. Blue Boy got rid of a Top Logic, and Jack got rid of an Impermanence. A Servant Turbo got rid of it. And now let's keep going, man. You just never give up, as I said, and I'm going to Desires. So because Blue Boy, knowledge isn't card. Like, Blue Boy is going to get interrupted by cards like Widow Anchor, Veiler, Impermanence, Top Logic, whatever, to ensure it's off the board or whatever it may be. But. That doesn't mean that you can't still use spellbook of knowledge. If you draw into another spellbook card, you can still use it. So it, they don't. They it's more than even a plus one. Like you get a free plus one from it, and then you can still draw from it. It's effect will eventually resolve if you draw because you have so much draw power and you have seven spellbook cards. So if you draw a spellbook card here, you still get to draw two. So here we have an oaf that is very bad in this situation. You don't want oaf in the scale, and you already have a scale there. A dead mirror and a dead knowledge. And a dead mastery. So we have four cards right now that are useless in our hand. But you never give up, man. You never give up with this deck. You literally, you never give up with this deck. Because you'll be surprised what an upstart goblin can do. It's why you gotta play all the draw power. Because you draw into amazing cards. So look at this now. Now you upstart into a blue boy. And now you can still use knowledge. He, if he wants, he can do any of these. But nothing will happen. So he can't do anything right now. I go knowledge, blue boy, draw two. Look at that, Pankala and Demion. Like it is part. It's what the deck does. It's what the, you have. Twelve cards that say draw two. Blue boy, you have six cards that say you have seven. You have thirteen cards. You have seven cards and swapping engine that say draw two cards. Allure draws two cards. Desires draws two cards. You have so many cards that draws two. You just can't lose. So you end up using Curtain Razor here to free the scale. Or not yet. We're gonna do this alliance first. You're gonna want to get Pankala as an option. An option here is to pendulum summon the purple poison to destroy it if I want. To make sure he has as little of a follow-up as possible. So the end play is if he negates everything. And this is like a... I thought this might be a uh, crescendo or something. The end play is tribute uh, is a pen summon. 
destroy Bomber and he's gonna have he won't be able to OTK me next turn. But I have bigger plans in mind. I'm gonna resolve Endymion. So Servant now is at six counters after Endymion. And then Endymion's gonna hit the board and clear all the other interruptions. Then I'm gonna pen summon and win. So just like that, I didn't even pen summon and I cleared five interruptions. And Demon's gonna hit the board and clear the last two interruptions. And just like that, he has literally zero interruptions left. I'm gonna put Harmonizing in scale and Pendulum summon my entire hand and Jackal. And I didn't even Electrum yet and I cleared five interruptions. Before even going into Electrum, before even going into anything, like before going to Electrum or before Pen Summoning, I cleared five interruption and then I Pendulum Summon everything. And that's wild bricking like unbelievably with Mare Mare, Blue Boy, everything. And then he's just literally gonna scoop. And I activate and Demon, he scoops because he had no out to it, it's gonna pop his whole board. And just like that, like without even Pendulum Summoning or using Electrum, I cleared five interruptions. That was absolutely insane. And that's why I'm saying how you gotta play very smart with the deck. And I have Sphere Mode in my hand. And what's very unfortunate is he's like, he, he's got to go. I'm like, bro, it's so, like, why would you do that? Like, I'm making a video. I had Sphere Mode, Abductor, Surge, Win. So, yeah, too easy. So next, you're going to face Sky Striker. Basically, a good player here. And it's a great match, honestly. Uh, we're facing Striker. Oh, I think it uh, glitched there. So we're just going to redo that one second, boys. The thing glitched a little bit. The thing glitched a little bit. Uh, we could close. We got a lot of windows of duels on here. Hence the glitching. I'm going to assume that's why it glitched. So we're going to fast forward here and show you guys. The last video I made is 15 minutes of the duels. Here we're doing an Orcus variant of the deck. Okay. I do prefer my normal variant. I won't lie. But the Orcus variant also offers some cool stuff that the normal variant doesn't. It allows you to... I think I believe that the Dengarsu protection is absolutely insane. The Dengarsu protection offers so much for a deck. Especially Pendulum. That it's nuts. So... We already use our normal summon, so we pen summon the blue boy, which is totally cool. Because the thing about blue boy now and dragon ravine is now even if you get hand trapped into oblivion, you can still have a blue boy there if it's like an ashed or Valid or something. You can still ravine some dead card and still orcas combo with the strudo. So uh, it's still awesome. So we're gonna go aggro pain here. We're just gonna put a full, even though the hand wasn't that good, we're just gonna do the full orcas combo. I did, did a little mistake here. I should have put jackal some in the uh, jackal here. And then the guard dragon combo over here, that would have result in a uh, Galatea ending up being over here and Dengirsu in the middle. But that's totally fine; doesn't matter. He had, opens up really good actually for Sky Striker going second. He had Omain oh, Dino Wrestler, which ends up really hurting my board. But little by little, uh, he's gonna attempt to clear my board. I seal the field spell. You should do that all the time against uh, Sky Striker because then they'll have a dead card. So I hit that. He summons that. I'm like, wow, that's uh, he negates the Dengirsu. So I'm like, damn, he opens up all these Widows. It's very bad for me. Uh, but he negates it. He negates his effect. I'm going to go little by little. Okay, pop, pop. He hits that. It just pops this with the effect of uh, Wrestler. And just like that, I'm left with no effects left. Uh, Dino Wrestler is very good against this deck. But the reason why you play Dengir, so you know, <laughs> that card becomes useless now. He ends up going Engage after Burn. He has Mystic Mind. I'm like, damn, Mystic Mind. Uh, it's not looking good for me, but because we had equal number of monsters, he didn't activate it right away. So I'm like, it's beautiful. He goes Ego Booster quickly before I could uh, summon out Jackal to get it to have free counters. And a Pen Summon. I thought I had game with Mermaid. I thought I'd be able to do a, uh, If they ever do this, if they Ego Booster with three spells, making Shizuku like uh, 1500, not destroyed, and all your cards was like 800 attack, a lot of the time you can still OTK with Mermaid. Uh, but if you play mermaid, if you put mermaid here and have a bunch of co-link cards, but I couldn't do it I used to utilize too much on my extra deck. It's more so going second you could do that, but going for uh, Going first you use up too much of your extra deck. So I couldn't with DK I wanted to set up a Boral Sword to protect the card from uh, attacking and I have a Link Rebo coming and I'm gonna have a, a Crescendo to negate the Mystic Mind and here I make a mistake I should have negate the multi roll because I was getting Mystic Mind regardless and as if I negated the multi roll Maybe I could win in a grind game but he actually ends up making a gigantic misplay here, like a huge misplay. He ends up thinking, screw Mystic Mind. It's a pussy way to win, which I rate that for sure. He said, you know what? Screw it. He ended up multi-rolling, so I can't use Crescendo. I should use Crescendo at that time. But then what I end up doing now is he jamming waves. Totally cool. Uh, what well, his mistake that he made was that he, for one, the fact that I didn't use Crescendo, I was able to add a card from my hand af to my hand after. And the fact that he didn't Mystic Mind while I had four monsters was a huge mistake. Even though he plussed a lot, got Kagari back, definitely plussed a lot with the Sky Striker engine, that still won't resolve anything. So it was a big mistake on his end because he thought he'd have enough to win. 
not knowing Crescendo, I'd agree with the fact that I didn't activate it that turn. So Crescendo ended up getting Skeleton, and I ended up getting easy game. I even popped like the blue boy. I could have drawn two if I wanted, but I didn't want to risk anything, like a hand trap or something, and then boom, we just won like that. So it was his mistake. I should have lost that, because if he just had Mystic Mine, I lost. So in order to beat Mystic Mine, you got to make sure Dragon Pit set up. Here we brick big time, like massively brick, but we want to set up even through hand trap, we still have Orca's combo. That's the beauty of this deck. So if they ever hand trap you uh, with bad hands, you always have Orca's combo no matter what. So if you saw the order of play I did there, no matter what hand trap you did, I was still able to at least pendulum summon the Nightmare and a card from hand and to always have Orca's combo regardless, even though we brick big time. We brick big time. But even though we brick big time, we still end up on uh, not the full Orca's combo. We end up with Seal, Vortex, Jackal, and Galatea. Now, what I ended up doing, I stopped siding a card like Sloth for Seal with Orcus, but that's uh, stupid. If you guys play Orcus, you must play a target for Seal because Dengirsu, if you go Dengirsu, will protect the Sloth or Persona. Now, Persona is way better than Sloth, but if you're going first, Sloth is better. But don't play a Seal target going second. Now, we end up negating, as you see, an evenly matched Dino Wrestler, and uh, we end up negating, the banishing the multi role with Crescendo. That's a huge thing with Crescendo. Banish that shit ASAP. Ban ban when you see uh, any one of card that's amazing, Gazelle, or like Gazelle, multi roll, any card like that, banish that shit ASAP or Crescendo. And you couldn't beat it, so that's game for us. Uh, so we're already 11 minutes in, so we're going to fast forward everything else super, super fast. We got an amazing match here versus Grand Maju, and another amazing match versus Sub Terror. So as you see here, we're going to get Hand Trap into Oblivion, man. Like Oblivion. He goes over his uh, servant not knowing that he can't do that. So it's a big mistake on his end. Huge mistake, and then he thought he could uh, Gamma the Gazer, which he couldn't. So he definitely misplayed like crazy, but even if he uses hand traps correctly. That's the thing with Gazer. No one knows what Gazer does. No one knows what Gazer does, and I went out of my way to get the Gazer there. And Gazer protects Servant, and not many people will do that. So I just, like the hand just like through two hand traps, we're going to do all this, man. Like it's it's amazing what you could actually do. Uh, we end up banishing the Knowledge, so you can't use the Knowledge with Desires, but it's totally cool. It doesn't matter. He is super poly too. So you end up having super poly, gamma, and ogre drew into ash. And it does, doesn't matter. What's he going to super poly? Like you still have four negates after he super polys. So he still had two cards that couldn't do anything. He's playing Grand Maju. So he went first because he had cards like Judgment and super poly and gamma. So he had three cards that interrupt me with him. Like, that's fine. I end up just drawing as much as I possibly can. He's This time he's saving his interruptions for what's important. And he lets the pen call go, which I believe was a mistake on his end. I'm going to end up popping the judgment. But what ended up screwing me over big time is I was I not expecting a set super poly. I don't know why. Uh, I just wasn't expecting. I was going to Yazi. I was going like to permanence. I don't know, something like that. Like Widow. I still don't know what he's playing. And a, a super poly. And Yazi is the safest thing to go into to pop a card. But not when it's super poly. So I got obliterated there. But it's like it's fine. It doesn't matter. It doesn't mean you lose. Uh, he's still playing Grand Maju. So he has Ghost Ogre, Gamma, which you can't use at the moment. Ghost Ogre, Grand Maju, but it's totally fine. Like, this deck came second at YCS, but uh, it's still no match for Pendulum, bro. Like, it, it, Grand Maju is pretty good, but it's no match for Pendulum. He's got too many negates for them, man. Even if, uh, just like that, I penned all those cards. He goes over his Electra, I mean, it's literally bait for a hand trap. And then I go uh, full Orca's combo by using Dragon Caller, targeting the Blue Boy, baking it a Dragon. So just like that, you see how, just how easy it is to bait cards? I use Electrum the fact as a bait. Like, as a bait. And he fell for it big time. Using Dragon... Like, that Blue Boy's never dead, even if you don't use it for Knowledge. I banished Knowledge. I have three Blue Boy, three Secrets, and they all came clutch. Like, without using Knowledge. I use Dragon Caller, targeting it, make it a Dragon. Boom. Guard Dragon combo. And Agar Pain. Bounce that. Vortex. Attack. And I'm gonna go Seal, but he can't do anything. Like, what's he gonna do? He's playing Grand Maju, bro. And I have Seal and Vortex. And he does have a Gamma and a Grand Maju. Draw Strike. Attack. Win. So, good game, buddy. We're going to have 14 minutes. We're going to go fast forward for this one. This is actually an amazing match, which you can learn a lot from. It's a shame I have to fast forward this. But I talked too much in the beginning of the video. But you're going to see just how amazing this is. Look at this hand, bro. You can have all the hand traps you want. It won't mean shit. Like, we're still going to draw all we want here. He has Super Poly and Ghost Ogre. Nice Ghost Ogre. <laughs> you go out of your way to protect the Servant. You, still, you go out of your way all the time to protect the to protect the servant with the time gazer he ends up ghost serving an electro but i just jackal so he ends up wasting a card i know don't know why he did that but he had an impermanence as well so that's a big mistake on his end i don't know what he was doing but uh anyways we're playing rated here so i'm gonna assume that at this level you're playing rated you at least know what you're doing so you keep going a lot of people are gonna do stuff like that because they don't know how to deal with your deck 
He's going to end up imperming the uh, LP. That's when I started wondering, like, what? why didn't you just uh, imperm the Jackal? It will be left with zero counters, and on top of that, the Electrum would die. Uh, not that it mattered. I didn't need Electrum to win. And now we end up setting... He had Super Poly on top of that. So he had Imperm, Ghost Ogre, and Super Poly. So Imperm, Ogre, and Super Poly. But it's fine. You actually have a Garuda in hand. You have a Jackal and a Seal. So you end up using... You can use all three of the interruptions after he got rid of yours. So it's like... He I ends up using the Jackal and... Uh, it's fine. Like, he ends up using the Jackal and the random card I had. The Kono. But it's fine. So now we're just going to have this. I'm going to use Seal Effect on that when he attacks. And we'll be able to Destrudo. I won't be able to use Garuda's Effect because I won't have counters on my three counters on my field. But it's fine. He's playing Sub Terror. I'm like, bro, I, like, good job. You open you open Super Poly Ogre and Perm Strike. Cool. Nice, bro. Uh, he sets a Super Poly on top of that. But there's nothing you can do. Like, you're playing the best deck. Abductor, Search the Eccentric. I, just, I have five cards in hand, bro. I have five cards in hand with the Destrudo coming. Like with Mare Mare, they're about to obliterate him. I popped the Guru, making sure the Phoenix is useless. And even though he showed Super Poly by accident, you, you just saw a Super Poly. So you're not going to be stupid and Pendulum summon five Dark Monsters. So I end up just summoning uh, at, at just enough to win. I go enough for that. I go Phoenix to pop, and then I attack for game. I'm going to end up using Yazi. So yeah, Unicorn, Yazi, and then that's game. Or just Boral Sword itself. That's enough for game as well. So it's really easy to. Like, I got Super Poly and Double Hand Trap. And I still won. I, I didn't even grind. It was just over. It was over. Now, hands like this, either they look bad, but they don't. If Blue Boy resolves, you just win. But you also one spell card away from just having this uh, be the most broken hand ever. But again, again, trap decks like this, this is a great hand. Even though you have three cards that you have to see Servant or Abductor every game. You play nine of them, and in 60 cards, you're not always going to see it. You must play nine. So it's actually an amazing match. I want you guys to pay close attention. He has Imperm Strike, Duster battle his hands broken his hands amazing ash fiendus like he has seven interruptions on his turn like seven and i can't attack so eight like that's insane he has eight interruptions and i open like dead uh anyways we're gonna keep going here like, it's it's gonna be tough to break this board pen call like fiendus i saw i knew that was coming but i'm like damn bro this guy has actually has everything strike duster that too i'm like bro this guy has everything he strikes the pen summon but that's all you summon two dark room I should have kept Abductor in my hand because if I kept Abductor in my hand, I could have triggered Chronograph and then Special Abductor again. But it's totally fine because I'm under Into the Void. That's why. So I should, that's why I summoned three, but I shouldn't have just in case he did it. But it's totally fine. Again, you never scoop. It's a rough situation. We have double Dark Room Grave, and it's fine. Don't scoop. You, the odds are against you. Ash, Fiendus, like, he has Duster too. Like, the odds are stacked against you right now. Big time. But you never scoop because you never know. I ended up actually losing when he told me he had a duster. And that's when you lose because he had no cards anyways. So you're going first now. You actually... The hand's okay. Not the best, but it's okay. Uh, I actually ended up taking out Cerberus. As good as it is with all the Ash bait that the deck has. You don't need it. And you send Zephyr Nui all the time. It makes Ghost Hogger useless because you get a free negate from it. And then I end up losing to an Ash like that. I... Thought I would have got ashed already. Like, my all these cards didn't get ashed. My pen call didn't get ashed. All these cards didn't get ashed, or whatever it was. Not my pen call, whatever. Sorry, my pen call didn't get ashed. Sorry, my mastery didn't get ashed. Like, nothing got ashed there. So I'm like, uh, where's, like, I thought felt safe. So it was my bad. It was a big misplay. My hand sucked. Even I'm like, yo, this is looking very bad. But I want you to see a situation now where uh, he even leaves out to negate it. And he's left with, even though I had that bad of a situation. It's the duel's still not over. You're gonna use Electro to pop the servant. Like, look at that bad situation. But again, you never scoop, bro. You never scoop. Use Garuda to pop a card. I popped the wrong card. It wasn't super poly. It was big oof there. And this is where uh, I my, I was missing my Oaf Dragon. Because if I had an Oaf Dragon there, Oaf Dragon, or well, I had no, and another magician instead of Oaf Dragon there, I would have been able to pop the background win. And I'm gonna pen something two monsters. I go Guard Dragon combo, and then boom, super poly. I'm gonna go get wrecked. I got obliterated there by Super Poly. And you see Super Poly is actually an amazing, amazing card. But hey, we don't scoop here. He has an Ibiru and Super Poly in his hand now. I'm like, bro, like how much hate does a guy got to deal with, bro? Like you're dealing with three Super Poly, like, two Super Poly, Ash, Ogre, evenly. Oh my God. He didn't draw any engine cards, but I'm like, I'd rather, the sub tier engine's shit. So it's like, you'd rather just see a bunch of Super Polys and Ibirus anyways. So now, Desires, look at this. Look at how amazing your deck is. You go from nothing to five cards. 
desires draw two into draw two into pen call into shrine into pen five like that's absolutely insane like insane insane like like it's nuts now i don't know what this guy was this guy oh this guy was scared to nibiru that's what he told me if he nibiru he was gonna get destroyed by its attack but i think that was a misplay on his end because he still would have saved him from game I don't know why Apple. He was waiting for me to do something first, and then Apple loses, and he got wrecked. Because he was waiting for the right time to Nibiru, but I'm like, bro, the right time's on the pen summon. But he was waiting and waiting and waiting, and get wrecked, son. I Apple loses him, uh, thinking what what else can he have in his hand? I thought he had Nibiru, thought he had something, a hand trap. I Apple loses it to protect myself from a hand trap, and get wrecked. I would have used it right away, but he thought, you know what? Maybe I'd be safe. And then he was starting making him effect to protect. He just didn't want to die from Nibiru because Nibiru, I'd have like a thousand atta 10,000 attackers, some shit like that. But I had a bunch of monsters on board, but hey, nothing you could do about it. Then I'm going to go Yaz uh, Dragster. I couldn't go for game. Uh, I couldn't Portal Star because I didn't have another card to put in the uh, attack mode or whatever. So he is now. I also, I was playing around Super Poly. Now I have a Light, a Wind, all that stuff. And now what can he do? Uh, he has nothing left. I go, I say, go ahead. I attack with three monsters and engage Dragster after my turn. This is turn two. So turn two, Appaloosa is another card I want to put in. Because now you have, after turn one, I have my full guard dragon play with stop from him. And now after turn two was Dragster, Appaloosa. And what can he do? Extravagance, uh, negate, and then he couldn't do anything. So that's a, that's the video. Guys, if you like the video, it's a long video for this one. But I want you guys to learn everything, how to play the meta. I'm going to do a lot more matches like this. So you guys learn how to play the deck properly. But if you like the video, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.